that is a seriously ravaged payphone. There you go. Got a wild animal came up here and just completely destroyed it. Right next to this fantastic old theater marquee is a clock that is not quite operational. It's actually a few hours off completely. And the opposite side does not share the sentiment of time with its opposing counterpart. But worry not, my friends. Pigeons? No, no time. You know, no. Well, actually, I'm putting words in their mouth. They, they might be able to tell time. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. I rather enjoyed yesterday's Hollywood hike, if you will, off the beaten pass of the boulevard. So I figured, heck it. I want to do that again. So I got my juice in hand. Let's begin. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. We will not be on this stretch of sidewalk for too long. One could say we're going on an adventure. Bow, 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 bow. She's watching you. She's watching all of you. Every one of you has just been watched. If or when my good friend the Tim Tracker comes to visit me, we're totally totally doing this tour. This is an artistic rendering of the greater Los Angeles area. Look at all that space. But I am currently wandering right down in here. Right around in there. Along this stretch right there. But I want to go up all in here today. I just kind of want to meander around. Just a real quick inside tip. If you're looking for a public restroom and you're wandering around here, climb these stairs, look towards the balcony with everyone peeking at the Hollywood sign, and then go this direction, about 100 yards. One of the few public restrooms out here. And if you so choose, you can get the ultimate photo on the casting couch with that famous sign in the background. And the church from Back to the Future that was used for the enchantment of the sea dance. True story. Just seeing it tempts me. I'm gonna walk over there momentarily. But first I wanna show this little mural, these cowboys. Kinda reminds me of the Clint Eastwood movie, Unforgiven. Oh my gosh. The door is open. This is a rarity. The door is open. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I can't believe I got in here. It is very difficult to get inside here. This is, uh, I'm not supposed to be in here, but it worked out for at least a second. I guess you could say I was meant to go for a walk today. <laughs> you might not be ready for this, but the kids are gonna love it. I was in the right place at the right time. There's a production company out here setting up for some filming and the door just happened to be open. I've only been inside there on one other occasion in my entire life, every other time, completely locked up. I get like, I get chills when I'm in there. It's, this is my Graceland, sir. The backside of this small hotel, a mural of Elvis. Today is the only day. Yesterday is gone. And that pretty much is summed up by the cast of characters that are painted here. I'm gonna continue up the road a bit, passing this sign that says Private Drive, but spelled with a 4-7 instead of an A and a T, that's interesting. And a miniature version of that historic sign right over there and this painted electrical box stating, thieve the world, dispense only the good. Oh, but overshadowed by that gargantuan set of chopsticks. Always on the lookout for hidden murals. And there's one tucked away back here behind this parking lot. Check that out. And right next door at the Holiday Inn Express is yet another parking structure that is adorned with goodness. Oh my gosh, is that Bill Cosby? Next to Elton John, Tom Hanks, Eastwood, Tom Cruise, Sandler? Oh, <laughs> Hitchcock would be 
a proud. Who had any clue this was located down in here? Unless you were just wandering the streets and tucked into a random parking garage, you would have no idea this even existed. There's two white horses. There's the king, once again. The marquee and a sweet diner. Bronson Pinchot from TV's Perfect Strangers? Good to see you immortalized next to Keanu and Cher. Oh no, this could not possibly be. It is Johnny Depp. I love all the stuff tucked away in the nooks and crannies, not only of small towns, but also here in Hollywood. There's nooks and crannies of Hollywood that are ignored and never shown till now. I don't know where I'm going with this and I really can't sing. There are always a few clues to let you know productions are going on on the streets. The first one would be the gentleman walking towards me, looking at me, wondering why I'm filming the truck that is unloading the gear. But the second would be these yellow signs with arrows. Those are for extras and crews to know where they are heading. This one is called Steelhead. When they were filming Back to the Future 2, they didn't put Back to the Future 2 on the signs. They called the movie Paradox, just to throw everyone off. So sometimes this isn't the actual name of the production. Back on the boulevard now, crossing over Lisa Gibbons' star, and someone named Regis Toomey. When you pass Dennis Franz, whoa, 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 whoa. Must be Burt Reynolds or something. One thing that definitely adds to the ambiance are these characters. The Spider-Man here, I just saw him startle a guy as he tried to shake his hand. He startled him so much, the guy did not know what to think. He basically ran away. It was, I wish I would have filmed it, but this guy, this guy is very, very handsy, to say the least. See, look, he's touching people. He loves touching people. It seems the new tactic is to just hold your hand out try to shake a hand and by doing that if someone shakes your hand then you automatically can start the conversation and hopefully get a couple of dollars for a photo. It's a tactic I've never really seen until recently. Normally they would just ask you if you wanted to get a picture. Now they like they touch you more, they try to shake your hand, they try to hand you items. Everybody's hustling out here. Everybody's trying to make a living. I wonder if the day will come when that guy busting out of the roof and Argyle will become friends or at least meet and decide if there might be some sort of friendship to kindle. And is it just me or this car might be too small for Dr. F Dr. Falcon? I've often considered buying a costume from a shop like this and going down in front of the Chinese theater dressed up as either a transformer or maybe Spider-Man taking pictures of people. The only issue is there might be like a, a turf battle down there some of the people have been doing it for so long they might have they might have the right away might actually get in a fight possibly let's see who could be found today oh i've never noticed frankenstein up there before or king kong who is this next to r2d2 what is this creature is that god that is it's Godzilla! And I also just noticed next to Mitzi Green Star, someone originally was gonna put their handprints down here, someone named Willie. They got their name, but never went as far as uh, planting their palms or their feet right down there. Maybe they're gonna do it later. Kinda like, kinda like the name on there. Maybe they're gonna put a name on there a little later. I've always seen it in old movies, but do you think flashers still exist? Do people still walk around in trench coats and then open it up to show people? I used to always see it in 80s movies, but I don't know if it still exists in this day and age. And speaking of filming, look across the street through the traffic. There is a cavalcade of crew members setting up for something. Something's about to happen right over there. I gotta check this out, Doc. Behind the scenes. Look at all this. This is where the magic happens. Everyone's so excited. Um, there's, there's a lot of waiting around. I've never, I've never been in a movie. I was an extra one time, and it was pretty boring. Just a lot of waiting around and coming out of tents. I got a lot of very bizarre looks walking through there. No one said to stop, but I just kept wandering. 
but everyone was looking at me like almost as if I didn't belong. But right across the street are more productions from a totally different studio. Man, there's a lot of filming going on out here. I just passed a sign back there that said no cell phone use past that point and no social media posting. They want to keep everything shh, shh. Don't tell anyone. You are never going to guess what happened to me today, Argyle. I got inside the Back to the Future Enchantment Under the Sea dance spot. I even walked up on the stage for a second and I stood in that little alcove area where he talked to his parents. Amazing, right? You're not interested? Man. You've never seen it. You've never seen... I'm going to bring a Blu-ray player out here, rent a TV, we're going to set up a big screen, we're going to have a viewing party, Back to the Future 1, 2, and th you might not like 3 as much as the other two, but you know, I like 3 in its own separate way because it's part of the trilogy, but you might not like. Do you like westerns? Cool. Hog? <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard not to laugh at myself. Hog over.